Hello, my card crafting friends. Welcome. I'm going to be creating some quick and easy cards today using Spellbinder's latest card kit of the month for June. This one is called A Little Hello. Let's take a quick look at what is included in this kit. It comes in this cute little reusable zippered pouch. So let's start pulling things out and see what we have. So first up is a huge pack of ephemera. This is a really popular element in these card kits. We have some chipboard sticker frames. Let's pull these out and take a closer look. Oh, these are pretty because they have little birds and flowers on the corners of some of these. Oh, here's some more flowers and even some butterflies. You get quite a few of these. These are really fun to play with. This is a pack of chipboard stickers and it is double sided. This is where you're going to find most of your sentiments to put on your cards. And in these card kits, you get eight envelopes and eight pre made card bases. And they always include two different types of adhesives and cardstock. So let's tear this open and see what colors we have to play with. It looks like we have a lavender, a pink, a light green, a navy, and a light blue. You get five of each color. And I love their pattern paper, so let's take a look at that next. I'm just going to rip this open. There we go. <laughs> you get 20 pieces of pattern paper. They're all different patterns. They are single sided and lightweight. I'm just going to flip through these really quickly. Some of these have beautiful gold details on them. These look like they're going to be great for spring and summer and a lot of butterflies. And speaking of butterflies, looks like we have a pack of butterfly stickers. Ooh, these are the pretty 3D stickers. Let's take a closer look. So these have the wings that kind of uh, lift up. These are so pretty. And last we have a pack of embellishments. These look like they would be perfect for shaker cards. You get quite a bit. And this is the kit contents page. It also provides you with some inspiration. And on the flip side, a step by step guide on how to create this particular card. I want to quickly run through the ephemera and show you some of the different pieces. And again, you get two of each. I always have tons of ephemera left over. Looks like we're getting a lot of butterflies in this pack as well. And then cute spring slash summer images. I really liked this piece of ephemera. The lattice fence has little pop outs. It makes it look so cute. So let's get started with card number one. I'm not going to be doing anything very complicated in today's video. Just allowing the beautiful ephemera and pattern paper and the elements from this card kit do all the work for me. I cut down that cute piece of pink, blue, and cream colored pattern paper. And I'm going to put the frame right in the center. I'm going to use this blue butterfly sticker. I'm going to put that in the corner of the frame. And then my sentiment's going to go at the top left corner, just diagonally. And last, I'm going to glue a lot of embellishments across this card, just diagonally. And that's all there is to card number one. Here is a close up look. The sentiment says thinking of you. Card number two, I'm going to be using more pattern paper. So we'll put the first piece down on the card base. It's just a pretty soft orange. Next, I'll attach the plaid piece. These two pieces look so beautiful together. 
However, all of the pattern paper is meant to coordinate. It doesn't really matter which patterns you put together, it's going to look great. And now for the frame, I'll take the backing off of that and attach a piece of pink cardstock behind it. I noticed that these chipboard sticker frames are very sticky this time, and that's the same with the chipboard stickers. So I don't really need glue on the chipboard sticker frame, I just want to put it behind the cardstock. I'll put this up at the top of the card, and then I'm going to use another butterfly sticker. I just love these. All of the cards I'm creating today ended up involving butterflies. And then I'm going to put this sentiment at the bottom. It just says wonderful. So these aren't occasion cards. They're, they're more like note cards that you can send out anytime. I'll add some pink embellishments around my elements on this card. Just using little dabs of glue to do this. I love this Barely Arts precision glue. The tip on it makes gluing down embellishments so easy. And here's a close-up look at the finished card. My next card is probably the quickest and easiest of the cards that I'm creating today. I have this beautiful piece of pink pattern paper. I left a little border around that. Next I'm putting down a piece of navy cardstock. And then this pretty piece of butterfly pattern paper will go in the center. I like to have lots of mats. I'm going to use this pink butterfly in the corner. The top piece was just a little bit askew, so I just peeled it up and put it down straight. This is just going to go in the bottom right hand corner. I like this navy sentiment, so I'm going to stick that down next. And like I said, no glue is required behind the chipboard stickers this time. They are really sticky. And then I'm adding some gold gems around the butterfly and the sentiment. And for this card, again, I'm just allowing the beautiful pattern paper and the different elements to do all the work for me. Here's a close-up look. And the sentiment says, from the heart. I really love using lavender and navy blue together. I think they look so beautiful. So I'm starting off with a piece of the lavender cardstock. And then on top of this, I'm going to put the navy. I'm using the Spellbinders tape runner. And I'm really loving this stuff. I had to play with it for a while to make sure that I liked it. It is repositionable, which I love. It's hard to see on camera sometimes, but I like that I can see it going onto the paper. So I'm reaching for this over my Kokuyo dot liner lately. I put down a beautiful piece of striped pattern paper, and then these butterflies are from the ephemera pack. I jazzed up the butterflies just a little bit with Copic markers. You can really see it on the pink butterfly. I just added some darker pink dots to that and then some yellow Copic markers to the yellow butterfly and some dark purple polka dots on the little purple butterfly. I'm going to put a sentiment under each butterfly. I haven't taken the backs off yet. I just wanted to situate them first. And then I'll glue down the butterflies with just a little bit of the Precision Barely Arts glue. I'm just putting the glue behind their bodies so that their wings can be lifted up a little bit. And then I could take the backing off of the chipboard sticker and put that underneath. The cards I'm creating today don't have a lot of dimension, so they're going to go through the mail very easily. But yet when the recipient takes them out of the envelopes, the butterfly wings will kind of pop up. So I think that's a really nice, fun touch of dimension. And now for the small purple butterfly. I am going to go back to this card and add some glitter pen over the butterfly wings. It really adds a fun touch of sparkle. Let's put down the last sentiment. I'm going to add some embellishments to this as well. 
just a few silver gems. Some of these are so teeny tiny. I love that uh, Spellbinders packs come with lots of different sizes. Here's a look at the finished card. You can see the Copic marker detailing I did this close up. And now for the last card. I'm using another piece of the lavender cardstock. I'll attach this to the card base. And then I'm using this gorgeous piece of pattern paper. I love the purples and the blues and the greens, and then the bright pops of white. I cut out a heart with a piece of white cardstock. I'll attach this with more tape runner. And then I'm going to use another 3D butterfly. The white heart's going to allow it to really stand out from this busy background. So I think I'm going to use this pretty soft purple one right in the center. I'll kind of fluff up the wings a little bit after I press it in place. And then the sentiment I'm going to put just right under the heart. Again, I'm going to come in with some gems and add a bunch of these silver gems around the card. This last one I'm going to put right in that flower center. And here it is all done. Well, have fun with your kits this month, everyone. I hope that you were inspired by this video, even though they were very fast and simple cards. That's all it takes sometimes, though, when you have some beautiful elements to work with. As always, I'll have all of the links to the products that I use to create these cards listed in the description box. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.